Negative apical pressure is popularized by the device Endovac. The basic concept of Endovac is having a continuous stream of irrigant, whether it's sodium hypochlorite or EDTA, in the chamber while there's a micro or macro cannula apical drawing the irrigant down the canals. The idea is better irrigation, removal of debris, and also safer removal of debris and application of the irrigants. Now, Endovac several years ago required some insulation. It required a lot of changes to your tray systems and your suction systems, but they've come up with the second version now where it's standalone and it's less insulation involved. It's more of an all-in-one unit. Do I want one? Sure. Is it useful? Probably for me. At the same time, right now, given my work structure, my different locations. I do irrigation in a different manner, but I would argue just as effective. So the way I use irrigation is quite simple. All you need is a surgical suction, your syringe with your choice of irrigant, whether it's sodium hypochlorite, EDTA, or even chlorhexidine. And then I love these series of tips. My favorite one is actually the tips for BC sealer. I don't use that during the application of BC sealer, I keep those and use it for my irrigation. The second is the purple tip. This is commonly used for the application of calcium hydroxide intracanal. And sometimes if I really want to get it really far down apically to really clean out and draw the irrigant, I would actually use the same 30 gauge syringe needle for the irrigant. So this is how I typically irrigate in one of my cases. And this is a short demonstration. In general, after some crown down rotary instrumentation, I would do some macro removal of debris and I would just use my syringe of irrigant and gently apply the irrigant into the chamber while having this surgical suction near. So that just gets the bulk amount of debris out. Now as I work down in my crown down and I get closer to the apex, I'll start using the tips that we discuss. I usually use my favorite, the tips that are included in your BC sealer packets. So I typically place the irrigant, and again, the surgical suction is there nearby to get the bulk so it doesn't drip everywhere. But what changes is I would use my hand, pick up the BC sealer tip, put it in the canal, and then have the assistant put the surgical suction in the tip and I do that for each canal. And the great thing is all you have to do as the provider is to take the tip, put it in one canal. If it's multi-canal tooth, you can take it out from that one canal, put it in a second, and the assistant can quickly reinsert and suction in that same canal. Now, as I continue to do my instrumentation, as I get closer to the apex, that's when you can switch to something even finer. And the great thing is this kind of follows the similar protocol as endovac, where you start out with a macro cannula and you go to a micro cannula. This is very similar. The bigger tip with BC sealer is a great starter. And then if you want to end, you can end with the purple tip, or if you really want to get some fine, very micro cannula like sort of uh, suction, you can use the tip that you use for the syringe. And it's typically 27 or 30 gauge, very fine. And it's very close to the micro cannula of endovac. Overall, give this a try. This has worked really well for me. It allows me to see things better, certainly clean things better. And overall, I think it's better for the tooth that we work on. In a way, it works very similar to endovac. Yes, it doesn't have a continuous stream of irrigant, but at the same time, you are doing a lot of series of negative apical pressure of the irrigant, just not continuously. Again, give it a try, something really easy to implement because you probably already have all those things. The last thing I do want to mention is another benefit about this irrigation protocol besides supposedly cleaning better, but it allows you to dry better for visualization so you won't end up with a graveyard of bent paper points. Uh -huh.